This is my personal story that is meant to follow the dangerous deck video covering the heavy metal exposure to arsenic in CCA wood. In 2012, one of my dogs was ravaged by allergies. She had open bloody sores, inflamed skin, and ripped much of her fur out. This was the beginning of DC Shiba Inu Rescue's highly successful allergy program. Instead of treating her with antibiotics, steroids, serums, and antihistamines that were prescribed to her by her traditional vet, I took a deep dive into human immunology to gain a better understanding of an autoimmune disease that is now the number one reason dog parents visit their vet. What I found was a plethora of scientific evidence that has been largely ignored by our allopathic veterinary medicine in the approach to treating, managing, and resolving allergies. Fast forward six years later, and our rescue has incredible success in treating the most severe and well-documented cases of atopic dermatitis without ever using antibiotics, steroids, serums, and other drugs that merely hide the symptoms and do nothing to address the root cause. Instead, we focus on removing toxins from the environment, building the immune system through support of a high-functioning and diverse microbiome, optimizing mitochondrial function, reducing inflammation, and fixing the gut. I still have the thousand dollars of traditional medicine in my fridge that I've never used. But back to DEX. I believe in testing, measuring, and acquiring baseline data for analysis. So my allergy dog had every conceivable test that I could obtain for her. In addition to the typical allergy tests, I also tested her blood, urine, feces, micronutrients, and heavy metal exposure. What was a mystery to me was her elevated arsenic levels. As a lead AP that was at the forefront of greening buildings in Washington, DC, with some of the top minds in the environment, sustainability, architecture, engineering, etc., I was more than aware of what it takes to maintain a non-toxic environment. I had a full remediation of my home by a professional company which tested my IAQ at optimal levels. I used all non-toxic cleaning products, paints, and flooring. Any potential VOCs were managed or mediated from organic covers to MER filtration systems, HEPA filters, cross ventilation, and strategic use of hyperfiltration plants. As a lifelong organic gardener, my yard never saw pesticides or damaging chemicals. I was stumped by the elevated arsenic levels and tested the common culprits, my water and soil, since my house was cleared. I even researched and cleared my human grade ceramic food bowls. I assumed it was potentially some non-organic raw pet food companies, so I went 100% locally raised pesticide free organic food. Her arsenic levels remain slightly elevated, but understanding that an optimal immune system is better equipped to handle life stressors, I continue to build her immune system and limit every imaginal carcinogen. After all, none of my other dogs were exhibiting issues. When adopters with a DC SIR allergy dog asked that I put together a comprehensive list of environmental carcinogens, I came across CCA decks. At times, I had been feeding my dogs on the deck when they had large pieces of meat with bone. Moreover, like children, increased exposure resulted from kids touching the deck and putting their hands in their mouth. Dogs lay on the deck and then groom themselves. Thankfully, I'd begun a non-toxic painting and sealing of my deck, but I ordered a wood test kit nonetheless to finally resolve the heavy metal mystery that had plagued my dog for five years. I then went about obtaining wood chips from my deck. Make sure to follow safety instructions as I wasn't wearing my eye gear and mask. After measuring arsenic levels in a well-ventilated area, I found the culprit to my high arsenic levels. Replacing my large deck was not financially viable at that time, so I went about researching remediation protocols used by professionals in my industry. I found that my low-ground vegetable garden of leafy greens located under my deck was a probable carcinogen for my, myself and my family. I purchased raised beds and strategically designed them for filtering potential runoff. I painted and sealed my deck twice a year to reduce off-gassing and skin contact and covered nearly every inch of my decks with outdoor rugs. While this wasn't a controlled study, identifying toxins, remediating and managing resulted in lower arsenic levels. This in and of itself did not cure my dog's allergies. It is merely a tool in our ever-expanding toolbox to deal with assaults on our pet's immune system. Ultimately, we want to build a high-functioning immune system so that should we miss toxic exposure, such as CCA decks, our pet's ability to process the toxins are primed so that they can be exposed to such things and not be debilitated by the exposure. 
The more we reduce these exposures, the more they are able to handle the toxins we are unable to identify and mediate. I should note that these playgrounds still exist across the United States, and implications for small children is profound, as they tend to put their hands in their mouth. And you can find more about this on the Environmental Working Group's website under Poison Playgrounds.